Yo, what is going on guys? It is Pat Patio here, and I am doing a video on the Windows 10 uh, new feature uh, called Bash for Windows 10, which is basically a kind of reversal of wine for uh, Ubuntu on Windows. So as you can see, I am on the Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview build 14316 so you have to be on that build in order to um, to get this new feature so I'm not going to explain how to be a Windows Insider but you can definitely look online so first off just right click on the um, Windows button click on programs and features and turn Windows features on or off so in this little box right here you should see something that says you find it Windows subsys subsystem for Linux beta so as you can see provides services and environments for running native user mode Linux shells and tools on Windows so install that searching for required files and I'll come back to you once it is done alrighty so I'm back and didn't take too long so now it says Windows completed request changes uh, need to reboot so I'm going to restart now and I'll be right back alrighty so I am back I have rebooted so um, now you just want to do click on Windows Art, uh, go to CMD, however you you want to do that, and just type in Bash beta feature. This one's still Ubuntu on a Windows, distributed by Canonical. So type Y to continue, and it is downloading. A full image of Ubuntu from the Windows Store so it's not gonna take very long since I have a pretty fast internet connection um, so might take a while to install though I'm not too sure and uh, I don't know if you can hear that but it's kind of thundering right now at the time that I'm recording this so hopefully that won't uh, interfere with my recording so done downloading so extracting file system I guess I'm gonna pause this real quick alrighty so I am back and as you can see installation succeeded so let's go ahead and type in some commands I'm gonna move my microphone a bit let's see if clear works yep um, uh, what about ifconfig? Uh, nothing for that, so. So let's do apt, get, uh, what should we install? Um, Apache, too? Let's see if that works. Building the pendency tree. So it's there. Oh, it's that one. And there we go. So look at it. We can actually install it. So I don't, I don't think I'm gonna. Whoa. Um, I don't know what's going on. Did I do something? I'm not sure what the hell I did. Oh, okay. Looks like it's going to be installing. I don't know what that was about, but... Whatever, so yeah. It looks like it is installing Bash. Well, it looks like it has installed Bash, and it is currently installing Apache 2. So that is uh, pretty neat, I have to say. Um, so I wonder... 
if you could actually see the web server that it is hosting. I'm going to clear that out. Um, still installing. Okay. Uh, starting web server. Apparently it could not. Unable to connect to upstart, so... Okay, so... I guess it kind of... Yeah, it says action start failed. But, um... How about just do... Get... Update. Let's do that. Then... I wonder if you could do uh, app get upgrade. I wonder. That is going to be something. But still, having Bash in Windows, that is cool, so let's do upgrade. Let's see what it gives us. Um, sure. Let's do that. This is really cool. This is, I don't have like a, I don't need a virtual machine in order to run on my Linux commands on here, so that is pretty nice. Looks like it's going to be installing a new version of apt. Yeah, it's going to be installing a new version of apt, so hopefully that doesn't break anything, but we will see. So, that would be pretty funny if it does break something. <laughs> As you can see, so many things right here saying no such file or directory because it just can't find it. It's not like a official Ubuntu. Uh, well, it is a official Ubuntu installation, but it's not a uh, a full featured one. If you know what I mean. So yeah. But I mean, I guess that's it. I don't want to go on any longer. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video on. The new bash for Windows 10 uh, Pro Insider Preview Build 143316. Okay, I said it right. But yeah, this um, feature, it's apparently supposed to be coming out with the uh, Windows 10 Anniversary update, which is probably slated to come out uh, to the masses and july probably the same time that windows 10 came out officially uh last year so yeah as you can see so many errors going on pretty funny that all that's happening yeah so many errors i mean this is in beta so not everything is uh, working so thank you guys for watching peace out